Manchester United all seasons from FIFA 19 until 2024 and FC 24. That That's a lie. <laughs> It's July 2018. Got me there. You got me there. So this, according to some feedback that we got on the last uh, 2024 video, according to FIFA 17, it's a new style that we may introduce to this scheme. Because FIFA 19 is a lot earlier than FIFA 17, it is to the present day. We'll be simulating manually every single season up until the 2024 season and see what happens there as well. Also, Copenhagen back again and don't worry about the name they get worse and worse and may infect you with stds yeah can you give me like a name and an address for the person that gave you this idea so we're going to be looking that throughout bad. all the top five leagues in europe we should exclude france at some point because it's too fucking mundane even even when the, the time comes of looking at oh it, has Lyon won the league? Has Monaco won the league? Has Olympic Marseille won the league instead of PSG? I don't care! <laughs> so your guess was Liverpool, yeah? <laughs> Chelsea club in the Premier League, 85 points, 26 wins. Four points away from Manchester United, Man City, and Liverpool clear the top four. And a tooth, not Londoners, just stay out of it. And relegated are Brighton, Cardiff, and Huddersfield. Pretty much as natural as the actual Premier League season that was in 1819. This is going to be just a common... The, the most common occurrence around. Bayern Munich win the Bundesliga, Leverkusen in second. Kind of like how the Bundesliga is going to finish this season, but one can only pray that Leverkusen would do, would be sensible and do their job. A massive upset, Napoli. About, what, four years before they actually did it, won the, won the league since 1990. They won the league in 2019 above Juventus that at the time had Ronaldo and were an un undisputed dominance. And Real Madrid clean it up after winning three back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back Champions Leagues. 89 points in La Liga, Barcelona in second, Atletico Madrid in third. Let it pre Please pray that it doesn't end up like the actual La Liga in FIFA 17 from 2024 because these are the three champions. Nothing changed. Valencia, Sevilla, Villarreal, Betis, Bilbao, even Celta Vigo and Real Sociedad. Pull up yourselves! So the expected back then Pep Guardiola derby. Are Luis Suarez and Lionel Messi Barcelona facing a Manchester City team riddled with oil money like it is in every season? I don't know why I just pointed that out. But Dortmund and Valencia reaching the semi-finals. Valencia has ambition! Do it in the league! And Man City cleared up on penalties to win accordingly their first Champions League title. You're a bully time! As expected, Manchester United win against... Not, not as expected. Sevilla, Sevilla are literally the Godzilla of Europa League. So what happened here is clearly unknown. Just in case of anyone, any of you are, uh, are interested and want to check how the European champions did it, or how Man City actually did it and will crown European champions, they signed Casemiro. As if they couldn't become even more unfair, they signed arguably the best central defensive midfielder in the world, especially at that time. That was Real Madrid Casemiro. No, but I'm going to mention Rafael Guerrero, which is a very weird sign but stupidly a signing that I can clearly see Pep Guardiola doing it. It doesn't really matter what he did. Uh, yeah No, it doesn't. You know, I love pedophile. If you're sure to enjoy this content, please subscribe. It's always free You can always undo it. And now I sound like every single average youtuber that you've ever seen I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do something funny Oh no, anyway <laughs> Brazil beat Argentina on a Copa America final in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. But I know that in two years time, that would be the reverse sure. fixture and Argentina would beat us on home soil and I would cry forever. <laughs> <laughs> Define psychopath with one image. Finally, a single transfer that makes sense and that existed in the real world Alex Telles from Porto to Manchester United a lot earlier than it actually happened but it happened anyway for 40 million quid John Stones joins Juventus Nelson Semedo to PSG to bring even more defensive cancer to the team hopefully Marcus Alonso once he has arrived in Dortmund he's not given the keys of a car one is bad two is demented Aaron Trippier would eventually age like fine wine in Newcastle as players he was Eh, he was bang average. At, by this summer, he would go to Atletico Madrid, but he went to Bayern for 18 million quid. It doesn't stop there. It doesn't make sense because two weeks prior, they signed Serge Aurier, also from Spurs, for the exact same amount of money. Big enough in the scheme of things, I guess, especially for the time frame. That was the summer that Frankie de Jong would join Barcelona for 75 million, but on a cut price, 16, 6, 66. He joined Juventus in Cristiano Ronaldo, just like Matthias de Ligt did in real life. Instead, it was Hakim Ziyech. 
after that amazing Ajax season that would join Barcelona. I just mentioned that the Danish league also has its couple of stars, bro. Mohamed Kudus and Elif Elmas. Just getting stuck in Norseland and Bromby, respectively. But when it comes to the Danish league, it's on FIFA, at least, is inevitable. You're not leaving these two clubs. Oh! <laughs> like they do in every single video. Manchester United, 28 wins, 90 points. A complete domination of the league. They rarely have won it since 2013. Bears arrive second and actually engage in a title race for Manchester United. Man City third and Liverpool fourth. And Everton claim fifth. Chelsea sixth and Arsenal seventh. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't Cardiff get relegated the season before? And relegated our Brighton Cardiff. It doesn't matter now because they've got 21 points across the board. Any other two promoted teams of Middlesbrough and Aston Villa go down without a whimper. FIFA career mode. No team would survive with 33 points in the modern era. No, none. I win the Bundesliga. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Enter Milan. 93 points. And champions of Serie A. Juventus for the second year in a row finishing second. And Napoli reigning champions from the season before. Third with Milan clinching the last Champions League spot. Valencia. 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 Fuck you. Valencia do clinch a Champions League spot for the following season. Uh, uh, but it's the same three suspects in Barcelona ahead of Real Madrid this time. Please bring me change. Valencia do something. Champions League finalists the year before. Barcelona do finally manage to lift it in 2020. Uh, and Atletico Madrid finishing runner up back. For the third year in the last decade, Atletico Madrid lose a Champions League final to one of their Spanish counterparts. Ah, those Arsenal Europa League days. Good times of AFTV all round. I say thank you to Nature's. Mopa, you are an absolute disgrace. You are a cheat. I hope Brian get rid of it. Roma, before the Jose Mourinho time, win the Europa League in 2020. Any position, promising. And it shows Renato Sanchez with Leganes. Doesn't matter where you go on FIFA or on FIFA and on any reality. And Dombele is gonna keep on getting fucked by Spurs. They paid e they paid even more for him than it did in real life. He was 66 million in real life. Finally, a Euro's winner that can actually back upon the golden generation of Belgium. 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 Win the Euros and their first ever major trophy in since 1895. That was the year they were founded. England weren't even on the semi final. Finals, oh, glory, amen! Manchester United sign Clement Lingley, and I thought the Harry Maguire signing was a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, Rodri, instead of uh, lifting trebles and becoming the best, one of the best midfielders in the world in charge of Man City's midfield, it goes to Leon. and if he wins a Champions League, I'm gonna go run naked in the street. It's like every single time. It, this is supposed to be an alternate reality. They, they, they're messing with my script on the video. They're, mess, they're messing with the sense of go to Tottenham, go to Roma, go to to St. Pat's under 14s, anything. Why Chelsea? Although Barcelona recruiting nicely Eight, as seven. fuck. Winter transfers only, Daniel Rugani and Leon Goretzka. Look at your club doing amazingly, signing a woman. Wait, 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 wait. For this image, everything is done and wrong. So Trent wasn't even at Liverpool. I mean, yeah, Spurs sold their two best right backs. Do I honestly thought they would sign Scouser Liverpool Liverpoolian for life, Trent Alexander Arnold? And then Man City would buy it. Man City get their hands on arguably the best right back in English football for the past five years. It, the Premier League should be shut down. PK signs for Tottenham. Nah, nah, it's getting too it's getting too weird now. It's not even the good way. People! That exist. It's coming to a close of tens of seasons. Even 19 was the first time we ever got sacked. Officially, Copenhagen has died in my heart. 2021 season is finally the season to make this child happy. Liverpool win the league with 88 points, 87 to Man City and 85 to Manchester United. And a Spurs team with, I can't, I can't believe I'm saying this, and Dombele and PK claim the top four spot. Bournemouth, Fulham and... Wait, no, this game's broken. This game, th th this, this, this is the worst game ever made. I swear on my dad's fucking penis, Aston Villa got relegated last season. I can guarantee you. Yeah, of course they made 14, 14 points, so it's three points off. The worst ever season, season in Premier League memory. Finally, it's not buying domination like it was in real life. Dortmund, Dortmund win the Bundesliga. And Marco Royce has a tad more to celebrate about his career. He's there. He's 87 rated and he's there. Marco Royce is a Bundesliga title, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. Ah. Juventus win Serie A. Napoli in second, in turn third. It's about to go down, people. No, they got fourth again, but it's a sign of Valencia domination. It's got one point off of the Madrid, but Barcelona obviously win the league again. Only 18 goals conceded in the whole competition. Manchester United won the Champions League. It's all broken now. The Madrid lost their overall fifth. 
Champions League final. And without a single title to show for it. Simeone, at least show like you're trying. And Europa League was won by Lazio against Real Betis 2-1. You man, it's been five days. My bowels are exploding. With well, Satarit Mitchell left Crystal Palace and go to Olympic Marseille for £560,000. From A-bar to Inter Milan, we missed a shit ton. <laughs> we missed a lot. In what position, in what planet would you get Arsenal to negotiate a deal for Eddie and Kedia to go to Real fucking Madrid? When he looks in this game, he looks like that. Like a schoolboy petrified to even chat to a human woman. Arguably the most realistic transfer we've seen so far. Because in all of real life and all mankind, since 2015 when Son joined Tottenham. No one actually put a right bid on him to leave Tottenham. All it took was until 2021 to finally leave Spurs when Harry Kane should have moved on as well. Ben Davies to PSG. Ben Davies to Ben Davies. Ben Davies to P. I'm done. I'm sorry. Leicester kind of combines. It, can't, it, it makes sense for Diogo Dalo. Why was Diogo Dalo at Oldham? Oldham can't afford meals for their players. Oldham cannot afford a stadium. Oldham is slaving their manager. And you're telling me they had enough money to not not, not loan, to buy Diogo Dalo? Nah, probably some Saudi investment. I feel like this is the only FIFA that the transfers are actually fun. Now, nah, Oldham taking the piss. Oh, I'm taking the piss. What the fuck? What the fuck? What, what the fuck? J John, John, John. It's financial takeover from a club in the save, which is a bot club. It's a club controlled by AI, i.e. commands on a computer and pixels on a screen. How can they afford Zagadu, who at the time was a Borussia Dortmund and a starting player? It doesn't oh, fucking I add mean, up, people. I know. I don't know, maybe some Saudi prince has a British friend that happens to cheer for Oldham, and now uh, they are rich. So one of the four rich. supporters of Oldham Athletic happens to be friends, a multi-billionaire in Saudi Arabia, who happens to know that there's a club in England whose crest is a disgusting owl who looks like it has been shit on with concrete. This is an intervention. I'm gonna check Oldham starting over now. Nah, nah, this is bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Th Look at that! No! What? Taif Chong and Musa Diaby. Musa Diaby earns more money on a week than Oldham could afford in 10 years. How? Plus, they're the same position. They can't even play. The AI doesn't even put the both of them to play. No. 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 Angel Gomez and Mason fucking Greenwood before the rape I owed him athletic who currently are 34 points in the fifth division behind Chesterfield this guy was in a World Cup semi-final this guy has been to World Cup semi-final no no mind that this guy has played for his country in a World Cup Andres Pereira no no this game's fucked I haven't seen a human made of charcoal including his hair it's made of charcoal. That's why I kind of went to the loan bargain then. Because we finally found a hidden gem. Victor Osimhen with a KSI looking like haircut. Going to Ren from Celta Vigo. Man City bulletproof. Take on the Premier League. No chase. No. Is this the first time they, they actually win the Premier League in this, this reality? Manchester United, Spurs and Liverpool claiming the last Champions League spots. Arsenal, Everton and Chelsea on the last top seven. Burnley still doing well. Yeah, this, this shit's clearly outdated. I swear Cardiff have been here for... For so many years, and the same outcome comes every single time. Whilst Dick Leeds and Hull also go down without a fuss alongside Cardiff. Bayern Bush through the Bundesliga, Dortmund in second. Oh, what a shock. Non B Juventus? Oh, uh, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Not just that 92 points, they only lose two games all season. The Serie A effect before Serie A was actually cool. Valencia. I need you to push some weight now. Oh, you're only six points. I had two wins. Two fucking wins away from Atletico Madrid who won the league. Yeah, he is in the game. It's just that he got that fucking weird little symbol. Unfortunately, he's still trapped at Salzburg. But if I would know from a glitch, if you put him on a short list on the transfer hub, he might move clubs sooner than you think. Any of two clubs that have no clue on how to win this stupid thing called the Champions League. And Athletic Madrid persevere and the world becomes a happier place. PSV Eindhoven win the P... Not win the PSV, uh, they win the Europa League. We're finally having to spade reasoning to be excited because the World Cup is this year. Dombele switches cobs for about the fourth or fifth fucking time. PSG have got some weird fucking transfers. I would envision Diogo Jota being there and then being bringing in Lukaku for about the same price. I all think Timo Bakayoko would 
be returning on top football level, being worth £43 million again. Even worse, Everton having that much amount of money to spend with all the FFP rules they broke. As a, as a Liverpool fan, John, would you be happy signing Pavard at 26 for 40 million quid? Not that much, but well, that would force Trent out of, to midfield. Oh yeah, you don't really remember, remember, do you? Uh, yeah, your club has Trent a while ago. I don't, I don't even know what the fuck he is. <laughs> Only <laughs> getting more realistic now. Uh, Man City get 97 points and one defeat all season. The dark days are just getting started. Chelsea, Spurs, and Liverpool it's still the claim the top four. Arsenal still left behind. Shock, shock. Yeah, because you drew too many games. You drew too many games. You want to win the league by drawing, yeah? Tam finally get relegated and the world becomes a happier place. I feel like I said this about three times this video. Fulham and Aston Villa, who got promoted, go straight back down without a fuss. Oh, right, for the last season of the whole experiment, Cardiff still won another shot in the throne of the Premier League. I mean, it's soon going to happen, eventually, whether you like it or not, because industry and money moves the sport. RB Leipzig, top of the Bundesliga, Leverkusen in second, Dortmund in third, and Bayern claim fourth. Ah, 90 points, nothing to say. Roma, AC Milan, and funnily enough, Fiorentina. Yeah, that's, that's, about, that's about the fifth season you claim fourth. I know you can get to the Champions League. I know you can do this. It's, it's a common, it's on your DNA. Barcelona just got 10 points more than you. You have one more season. Back to back. Atletico Madrid, you didn't have a single Champions League medal to show for their grandkids. Win two in a row, this time against Juventus. I mean, it was finally time to get revenge over Ronaldo, innit? Okay. I quit. Kai. Barcelona. Ka Kai Havert, 90 rated. Ericsson fresh from winning the World Cup with Denmark. Finally leaves Spurs and goes to the... Juventus bench. No, he's 88 rated. Jesus Christ. No, he, he's playing, bro. Oh my. This would break everything. Now, I, I don't need to fucking ask you to, to tell me that you'd be happy with this shit. You'd be over the fucking moon with this. Mo Salah minus the goals, but infinite dribbling. And then we go to Luka Jovic going to Man City from Frankfurt. Yeah, th this. This. Ah. Uh. No. You're joining Real Madrid, Pinamonte. You're supposed to be a big deal, but I don't know who you are. I want to die. Chelsea second. Finally, they restore some pride. Liverpool Manchester United claim the last Champions League spots. Arsenal remaining fifth for the rest of their lives. This is about the fourth season that Arsenal claim fifth again. God. <laughs> Nights nice, Leo with 99 points. I'm actually... Thank you, John. That's a decent surprise. Yeah. Nantes getting fourth as well. The last time that I've seen any nuts coming coming in fourth was my chemistry teacher moving to a girl on his class in a Zoom call. Bayern win the last Bundesliga because Leverkusen don't, don't really know how to win games, only to draw them. Lissandro Marci Martinez and, in and AC Milan... Oh, my God. Lissandro Martinez and AC Milan finally claim top spot in Italy and dethrone Juventus about time. Yeah. On the last season, they can't even claim Champions League spot for themselves as Villarreal to take. Barcelona win the league again and still remains in La Liga as the league that never fucking changes. If Atletico Madrid won the Champions League this season, I'm going to streak naked on in a in the local McDonald's. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh my god.